something else you need to check is the lifter diameter make sure they're all the same diameter but I've just gone and stuck them all in dry as you can see and just basically give them the wiggle test and make sure they feel all the same if um, these feel all the same anyway but if you had one that was probably a little bit looser you could probably swap it that one feels a little bit looser than the rest so I'll go back and just find one that's the tightest and swap it that's pretty tight Happy with that. Pull them out now, number them, and then I'll put them in obviously back, back the same way they come out. And another hot tip that everyone should know about is to just check the end of your lifter, make sure it's got that slight taper ground into it so we slipped the cam in the other night and today we've just um, dialed the cam in pretty straightforward that um, it come out right on target when it was set straight onto zero, so that's uh, that worked out quite easy. So I've got the sample cleaned up the other the other week. I think I was live on TikTok when I uh, wild wheeled that, so you missed out on on this video. Just getting the sump ready for a Mirabito spec sump raffle in, um, in Chris's videos he goes into detail about just grinding bits off the edge just a slight trim till it sits in there nice and flat and then you weld it in I'm just going to mark it with a texter a bit taken off for a start. Side corner there. A little bit along there. And that'll do for now and then I'll trial fit it again. That's it guys, tiniest of trees, and she's in. Now I just gotta get my welder dialed in so I don't blow holes and everything. Now I'll just give that a little bit of a heat down the back there just to close that back section off. I probably could have 
pushed it down a little bit further when I was fitting it, but it's all good. So it's just a little bit, bit wide there for my liking. So I've just um, peened that down a bit and I'll just put a tack in the middle. As I said in previous videos, I'm not an actual welder, so what you see is what you get. Obviously, it's not going to go anywhere. Sorry about the light. So that um, that welded in good. Now I have to push this new oil pump drive gear onto the oil pump and I don't want to push on the, the impeller so I'm going to use this dowel, sit that dowel in the press and then hopefully I can hold it all together by myself <laughs> with one hand. Now, I'm not sure what sort of clearance is going to be. So that gear is pushed on flush. Now I just need to, I don't think that clearance is right there. So I'm just gonna go find another old pump and we'll just clarify. So I've just found this Dunger pump and I can't move. There's no end play because the pump is still together. So I've just measured that gap and that comes up with 45 thou, 45 thou clearance and you can see a bit of the shaft hanging out the end. So if I make the new one the same, it's got to be spot on, doesn't it? So I'm happy with that. I don't think anyone makes these pumps new. So you need to find good second-hand ones.
I'm also not a fan of packing grease into oil pumps. I don't know. I remember one getting blocked when I was a, um, an apprentice. The engine was rebuilt and the pump was overpacked and it didn't draw oil. Right, so I've lubed the cam lobes. Also added a little bit of um, sealant on here for the oil pump. <coughs> oil pump's all cleaned up and I've also put some lube on the gear to help it bed in. So that glue is anaerobic gasket maker from Permatex. So oil pump's bolted in, haven't got the pickup on it yet, obviously. Now I'm gonna fit a Mirabito oil pump support. This guy. Seems like his fucking name etched in the day. So I've just scraped all the little dingleberries off around the weld, weld splatter. And I've just given it another oh, a bit of a wire wheel and a brake clean. And I might give it a light coat of oil before I put it on. Just wipe a, you know, wipe a bit of engine oil in it because it seems to be flash rusting overnight. And um, as you can see there, down there. So do that because it's probably gonna be, I'm gonna bolt it on the engine now, but it still might be sitting for a few weeks before we get oil into it. So now I just gotta check the oil pickup depth, make sure it's close as possible. You can actually see where it was rubbing originally. So we just want a little bit of clearance there and I've just got to clean the bolts up then we'll get it glued on. Right, to check the height of the pickup I've gone with the old alfoil trick. I couldn't find any alfoil to start with, so I ate about 10 Easter eggs. And then we found the alfoil, so. All right, we'll drop that sump on and check the gap. I probably could just run a steel roller across there, the roller down. It's probably simpler, but I will drop the sump on, see how it looks. Obviously that's fallen off, but we've got a rough measurement here. That's about three mil, I reckon. All right. Something else I do, which is in my book, probably the, the most simplest and best thing to do with a, when you're fitting a new oil pump or building an engine. I always tip oil in the pickup, turn the engine over until it comes out where the filter is. Um, I've got the filter there, 
can go on just so it doesn't make a mess. So I watched a YouTube channel last night and I was cringing. This certain person fitted a brand new oil pump and just whacked it on dry. Fitted it, fitted the sump, everything dry and I just, I was uh, cringing. Oops. <clears throat> Yes, you can see that drawing oil already. So I've just cleaned along here with um, brake cleaner and I've come to the gasket. So you just slide that off with a razor blade. Just so it's flush. Not a big deal. I was going with this razor blade. I'm a bit tired. Tired like me. Acrimen that I'm on. These front timing cover ones have got little little doodles on them. Line up and line those up in the holes and pull them through. Now I think it's the same both ways. Oh, those little things just push through nicely.
All right, I think we'll leave it for that episode. It's um, dragged out long enough. <laughs> um, is what it is. So tomorrow I should have the head here, but you'll probably see that in about a week. So I can't wait to see that myself. I haven't seen one in person. So that's a Chris Mirabito CNC ported head. So it's gonna be quite interesting to look at. Anyway, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Oh, and look after your mates. Getting ready for the Mirabito spec. Um... <laughs> Fuck's it called? Baffle. <laughs> right, mate? Yep, it does. I brought some food too. Yeah. Can you remember when you left that chocolate bar on your bench? I was here the other night and it was like making noise and What? You got the chocolate bar here. And I lifted that up and a little mouse came out of it and sat there. It, was, it ate it all, man. You ate it all? The mouse did. Oh. <laughs> I was confused then. Yeah, it can Is go. Time lapse? Nah, it's normal. Oh. I just finished talking when you come in. <laughs>